Okay, hi everyone, and my name is Gary Ding, and I'm from Suzy Labs Taipei. So today I want to share with you something about the uh, BTF. Uh, in short, you can think about it's a kind of a debug info for the eBPF programs. So, okay, let's start. So in, in the very beginning, if you want to uh, code in the eBPF programs, you usually use the assembly code, but after LLVN 3.7, then it starts to support the uh, BPO bytecode, so actually now you can just code in BPO programs in C language. And it's much, much, much easy, easier than, than assembly because it's easy to maintain, easy to read. But it's also, and so basically the, the, this, you will see use, use this kind of flow, so like uh, you compile your, your code into the bytecode and the loading the kernel. Yeah. And so, for example, this is a, very simple uh, BPF programs. Yeah, it's attached to a socket and uh, to print, just print, print some, some information. And this program can be compiled, but uh, then there's a problem inside uh, the, this program. So when you're loading into the kernel, then you show you this code trace, and uh, it's all, it's all uh, you, you can see here. This, the kernel only, only show you the, the instruction should code, and uh, you, you in the end, they say it talked to you. Uh, it's invalid at memory access. So, for for beginner, you may think about what what is it, and you have no idea why 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 is is failed because uh, there's a gap between the the instruction and the, the C code because you are coding in C code and the, the bytecode. But you, you you probably cannot just direct match match the bytecode because the it's done it's done by the compiler. So to, to solve this kind of uh, problem, and uh, the uh, BPF uh, upstream, they proposed a, a, a format called the B, B, uh, BPF type format. It's a, uh, as I say, it's a kind of a debug info for the BPF programs. And so you can see it's a BTF. <laughs> and uh, this, this, this can be, it, uh, this, this BTF was, uh, was added to the LLVN since 8.0. And what 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 difference between if you use LLVN more than eight points eight point zero and actually it's just eight two sections. The so for for the when you compile when you compile the BPL programs, uh, you will compile into the elf object file, and uh, there, there are several. There are several sections you will generate, like a text section and a, a section for the bytecode and then for the maps, and also for the license. And this is just a uh, the license say you you are you are using GPL, and uh, and then the more, more other sections. And uh, if you're using LLVN 8.0, 8, uh, 8 then you just add two additional uh, sections. One is dot BTF, and the other one is dot BTF EST. So then, what's inside with these two sections? Is and I will introduce that. So first is a BTF section, and in BTF section is very uh, it's, a, it's complete. It's a two three, three parts. So first is the, the the BTF BTF header here. Yeah, the BTF header. Uh, it's just a header. Say that like identify that is a section of BTF section, and also I didn't uh, also to. To, uh, to define the, the range of uh, lo those two, uh, the following two sections. So the most important is the uh, layer two sections. One is the type section, and the other one is the string section. So what, what are they? And uh, so, yeah, one is for type as the name, and the other one is for string. So for the type section, um, then what is the type? And you may have a question like this. And actually, I can say type is actually a uh, a way to describe a data structure. So let's start with the example. So if you see this kind of a struct, then how, how can you describe this struct? Then first, you have to know the type. The, the, uh, 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 first, uh, you have to define the kind of a, the type. So for, for this is a struct. And uh, also, you have to know the, the name of type. It's a, the, 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 it's called a sample. So and others like uh, you have to know how how many members of this struct. So you have to also know know if uh, they know this one, and uh, you have to know the what the member type of uh, 
of the member and the member then. And also one very important thing is the offset to the, to the member because uh, you may have a different alignment and the, the, the member may be aligned to a different, different place. So you, you have to, uh, to, 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 to specify the, the offset of the, the member. So at least you have to, not, uh, you, you have to describe all, all those things. And okay, then, then one 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 basic thing is the type, of the, uh, the kind of type, and so, so in in BTF it defines several kind for for the types. So for example, you can see here, but it actually from more, more like the de de uh, derived from the C language. So it's so first uh, you can see the int and the pointer and the uh, array struct. Union and the emulator and the blah 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 and etc. And so, it, for for example, if you want to you and the 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 in, in the type in, in the kind actually can derive several different kind of type, like the characters and that you can think is a one one byte int and the short is a two byte int and the in int is a four byte anyway and the long 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 is a eight byte. And, so and besides the, the those and you you have to also notify if it maybe it's assigned or unsigned, so, yeah. So basically, so the type type section are uh, are used to define this kind of thing, and the data in the type section and uh, it's just it you it, be arranged like this. So a, every type will start with the header. It's called the BTF type, and it's you will be list down here and so. And for different types, you may need uh, some uh, sub uh, supplementary uh, data. So, like for for the array, besides the type the type, the type header, you may de also define an, an array array member. So you can see the the length of the array and the member uh, the, me the member of uh, the type of, uh, of array member. And for the int, you, you may follow a U U32 data and to define the the length of the 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 length of the uh, the int or and the <coughs> and if it's signed or unsigned, and for for struct there you follow the some special like uh, some special struct and it's uh, called the B BTF member, so you can just append the member for for the for the struct. And every type has its own type ID, so you can identify the I mean for, to reference the the type it, it more more easy, and let, let's know. ID specified uh, in inside uh, the header, but it's just use uh, the order of the type. So, and zero is the most special one. Is zero is always for the void, and for others, it start from like like uh, you, if you if you at least one first uh, first type is uh, array, then then the, the type ID of the, this this first type is one, and you can see as well is one two three four. That just follow the order. And so you can just locate the the type you want. And so let's see what inside the the, the type the BTL type header. Uh, actually, it's just uh, there, there are three members inside the type mem the type <coughs> type header. So the first is of say to the type name because you have to know the what's, what's in the name is. And also the the, the but the, the second one is quite. Uh, my most interesting one because uh, it's a U U32 uh, int, but but actually it's a uh, divide into a uh, di different field. So for uh, for the fir first uh, 16 bits, it's a uh, it's a mem member of a num number of members. The structure structure uh, oh I see. Uh, structure and union members. Yeah, I type it right. And also you can see here this kind is also defined here. You can know what what kind of the type is. And there's a bit bit of set it's for many for the struct because you, you may need a bit of set instead of a byte of set. And for, for the last one, it can be a type size or maybe type ID depends on the type you, you, you need. Uh, for example, you're using a point type and then you, you, you may need to know what type what the type point to. Then okay, let's see some example. So you may got a like a type of header here, like this. Then you you can use the offset to look up the the name, and here is the the other corresponding field, and so after you see this, then you will know okay the I, I may look up to the to the string table and okay I know this 
is called example, and there are four members. Uh, this is four, yeah, there, there's four, and so I got four members. And uh, number four is the uh, for struct, uh, number four kind is for struct, so I know it's struct. And the, the last one for struct is the, the size of uh, the struct, so you, you know uh, this is a 16, 16 bytes. So then, then this type will follow like this, then uh, just like the example, uh, you, you will have a, a BTF members for the first uh, member I and then the, for member C, member P, and the member S. So you just follow the, the, this kind of structure. Yeah, select like data, okay. So it's basically all every, mm, not, not everything, but very best for the, for the type of section. So the next is for the string section. String section is probably the most simple section in, in BTF because it's just four strings. And you can see here it start with the noun character. So you always start with this one. And after that, and just follow the, the strings. Just like the C string, so we can just attach as as more as more string as you you want, and so. And if you want to find the uh, the string, then you can just uh, like a, like a, the first example. I I I uh, I have the like a one one zero zero, and uh, maybe I can then how I, how can how can I look up the string? So first, you, you have to skip the, the field you, you don't need, those, those, uh, those data you don't need, so you can use uh, the data in the BTF header to skip like header and the, the, the other type section and to go to the, the string section. Then I, I, I can look up the, like a one zero zero and then we map into the, the string two, and then you, you, will, you will find, okay, this is the, my, the string I need. So yeah, that's all for the string section. Okay, then next we can Take a look at the BTF EST section, and actually, in the beginning, just the one only one BTF section. But after, uh, <coughs> but it's, uh, it's only to use to describe the types. But uh, but over time, the, the BTF BTF upstream they expand the, the BTF and the, to add another section for 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 debugging. So the BTF the, the EST section also actually is more like for the debugging purpose. And very similar to the type, uh, the previous uh, B BTF section, they are all, it starts with the BTF EST header. And this one is also very similar to the BTF header. And uh, you, you, you see that there are also two sections. First is a function info section, and the, the other one is a line info section. So what are they? And it's, it's, it's very simple, as you can see, it's a, First is for functions, and the other one is for the lie. And okay, then start with the function info. Yeah, so for the functions, and so what what kind of fun, uh, what kind of data we have to know with the, about functions? Uh, it's more like the, I I need to know the where where the fun, the function starts and the, what what kind of type of the function it is. So in, inside this one, and uh, okay, let's start with this. So inside the, uh, so mo most of the function will be, uh, be, derived, uh, be, be de described like this. For, for example, the first one is uh, the uh, instruction in, in, uh, of set, so we can know the, 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 start, the starting of the, the, the function. And the, the second is uh, the, the type ID. So it's re reference, uh, you referenced to a special type is called a fun function type. And the function type also will, will tell you what the, like the parameter and the name of function and the return type and etc. So basically, you you only need two these these two fields to describe the function. And the inside the function info section, there, there are a lot of function info. Yeah, like, like this, the the function info. This one would be stored here. There are a lot of function info. If you you uh, if you write a lot of function inside for, for in, in, in just one object files, then you, you also all list in, into in these these sections, and you, you can also group the different functions for different purposes. For example, yeah, you may attach several functions into like a uh, kprop a and uh, the other the other group for kprop b. Then in, in this case, you you will be separated to into two groups. So you you can see here there's a special structure for for the groups. Uh, it's also called the uh, info set, but uh, you can call it groups anyway. And uh, so yeah, for the first group of function, you will be 
be visited here, and the second group function will be here. So, yeah, so this basically all everything about this function info. Then next one is the line info function, line info section. Uh, this uh, mostly, if you are looking, you are interested in debugging stuff, and this what what you maybe what you need. So in short, it's just the mapping for the instruction to the source, uh, source code. So yeah, it, so if I finally you can you, you, you with this section, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to guess what what the, what what instruction mapping to what what the the source code and so with the help of this this section you, you can just mapping your instruction to a source code and uh, very similar to the function info you can also let there are also different groups for the for the different uh <coughs> the, the, you can group also use to uh, group different instructions for in in, in different sections so <coughs> So, like I say, the uh, for uh, for the the function info, it, you may have uh, those those functions for the k power a and the the functions for the k power b, and lo those fun uh, then lo those instruction for those functions will be grouped in in the for example the k power a will be fun the, the instruction for the k power b will be be put here, and the instruction for the k power b may be put here. So we, there's a kind of grouping. And in, inside the uh, BP of line info is uh, is mm, more, more than uh, is more more feared for for com compared to the function info, and because it the, it contains the correspond uh, I mean the instruction corresponding to the source code. So first first of all you have to you you need an offset to the instruction so you know which instruction of this info refer to, <coughs> and. Uh, Second is uh, the file file name info. Yeah, the, you can store the file name. I mean, st store file name inside the the BTF section, the BTF uh, yeah, BTF string section, and uh, <coughs> there, there's uh, the information you can refer to. So you you will know where where this instruction come from. the the source. I mean, I mean the source code name. So you can just check uh, which source code you should you should check. And uh, the next is a uh, of offset to the line, so it's a uh, you you know the. Uh, uh, it's not not a uh, okay. In the, this is more more like a of offset to the the line line string. Yeah, it actually is a uh, oh ten minutes. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's uh I I will show you show you the example later. So it's actually you can store the it's, it's re refer to the actual uh. The actual line of source code, and uh, the, the the last one is the column and line. So uh, as it, as it say, it's a first uh, first a ten bit is for the column, and the the let the rest is for the for the for the line. And okay, let's see see the example may be easier to understand. And so, if I got this uh, this section and uh, this uh, line info like this, and so first it's a C eight and uh, twenty one for the for the <coughs> file name and the uh, for the line info is a one z one zero three and uh, maybe the current is one b and twenty twenty six then how can I translate this and maybe then I can just check the the uh, the, the other sections and uh, i I will know okay the instruction i per the instruction of set then I will know the instruction uh is oh, looks like this and i i then I can check the 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 tape I mean the, the the instruction table to know what the instruction is, and uh, here the I can see with, with the file name of set, and I can check okay this uh, is simple dot c, and this is a source code is referred to, and uh, here you can see here, uh, it's a one one zero three uh, it's pointed to a it's a, actually the uh, pointed to a, a, st a string, then the string is actually the start with the if uh, this a uh, tab. And yeah, slash t, slash t is a tab, and uh, and you can say it's a if statement and the contain uh, this contain the two 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 statement two two expression to to compare. And uh, in the end, uh, you can see this uh, th this instruction is the uh, in current twenty twenty seven, and the in line is thirty eight. So with the current, then you can point to okay, this actually point to here. Uh, so you you will know it's actually re, 
and you, can, you, you also can yeah. You also can refer to the instruction is a load one 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 byte from the from some somewhere else. And if you refer refer to the source code, then you know, it's very clear. Okay, it's loading the DV then the first uh, uh, the second field the second member of the array and uh, compare with the and data you will compare with the Z uh, uh, it's, it's all not zero, yeah. And so you, you will know it's for the for different the reference the, this this address. Okay, so it's pretty much for the file format. Then how to use BTF? And uh, actually, uh, so so in the beginning, I, as I say, you, you have uh, extra section here. So and along with the, your programs and the, your maps. Then first and the first of, first of all, you have to load the BTF inside into the kernel first and. Uh, let, let's let's know dynamic. Uh, unlike the GDB, I mean nowadays using the, in the user space, there there is no dynamic loading now. So you have to load this uh, BTF for BTF section first. So after you loading into the kernel, then you you will give, you will be given a file file descriptor. Then after that, you can when you're loading your 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 programs and the maps, you can just add the file descriptor into the B, uh, BPF attribute as a struct for for those two commands. So uh, so the afterward, the, the kernel can just link link your programs and your maps to the BTF. So you will know. Okay, I, I can look up to this this place and uh, to look to see what what happened. And uh, okay, now we can see how verify with BTF. So just like the first, uh, the, the 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 program, the same program uh, I, as I show you in the very beginning, and you also shows you it also shows you the, the instruction uh, backtrace. However, and with the help with the BTF, and you can you can just fetch the 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 line of uh, the function. The, the line of the instruction. So you can see here uh, if you you found the uh, less uh, okay, you know, th there's a corresponding line and uh, you will just show print the line first. This line first, so S K B equal to blah blah blah. And uh, and if the, uh, f if a and if a zero and one maybe share share the same uh, line, then you will just skip uh, just skip uh, the pr line printing. So we can just simplify simplify the the the, the output. So so like this, and uh, and anyway, yeah, and then you 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 will know the 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 line and the following instructions. So in the end, it's very easy. You can spot okay, this is the SKB and then zero, uh, because you 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 are not allowed to to write into this the, this this structure. It's it is illegal. So anyway, you can just okay. Then I can look up or look up just this line. And okay, this this line. Have a problem, then I can check my source code instead of just guess what happened afterward. Okay, and I'm done. Any question? <laughs> yes. Do you know why they went through the trouble of creating this new format instead of reusing Noir? Yeah, it's that that's a question I want to ask too, yeah, because um, actually the, for for the first uh, in, in the very beginning the they use the the PA hole to to convert the the, the draw draw format into a VTF, and for some reason I think they want to keep it as, as small as possible. So I also see some uh, they, they they are doing some something in, inside the the BPF BPF. They try to. Uh, Deduplicate the the type because the type for the the compiler maybe con uh, maybe pr uh, con uh, maybe uh, preserve as more type as it can because it may be useful for the users. But if you pre pre uh, preserve too too many types, then you, you will just broad broad the, the 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 whole whole set whole whole size of the section. So they are doing some something to duplicate that. So they can like uh, they can reduce the the section from like a 60, 60 megabytes to to maybe just one or two megabytes. 
yeah, it's not going to compress that because they can just remove all the duplicate the types and then make it more compact. Is there some limitation on BTF, uh, on the size of the BTF information, just like there's a limitation on the size of BTF program, like mm -hmm. the one page? Uh, there is no size limitation now, as I can see. So, and uh, especially you want to put uh, all the source code inside those section, and so if you are limiting the the size, probably doesn't make sense. But anyway, your BTF, BTF BPF program is the size is li li very limited, so it also limited the source code for the size anyway. <laughs> but there, there's no hard limit for for the the section. So, any other question? Okay, probably no, then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys.